Okay, so, topic. Uh, I have three. First topic, I dropped the ball on vlogging. Not good for a newbie at vlogging. Um, my vlog two coming up later um, this week. I think most of my week will be spent at my friend's house before I leave off to Alaska this next Sunday. Um, and his internet completely sucks. So, sorry. So it'll be out. I'm going to start uploading my vlogs probably permanently. I'm going to probably just start my vlog on like a Sunday. And then just upload them overnight and then just make it like that. I think that's what all vloggers do. So then essentially they just kind of have a Friday, Saturday, and then most of Sunday off. And then they just have to do whatever. Anyways, okay, that, that being out of the way, you guys can deal with that. Okay, second, or the second and third topic. I want to talk about marriage, young marriage, which is controversial and liars. Um, to just start this off with, I'm not trying to start a heated debate. This is just my opinion as a blogger, because um, I don't know if it's a stuttering thing or maybe I'm just weird. But my mind is always going, always wondering about stuff all the time. And uh, oh, it's so hot in this room. Um, by the way, I'm in my friend's brother's room that went off to college. And um, anyways, back to topic. I'm not trying to make this controversial or trying to make everybody mad at me because I think one thing or another. This is just how I think. Okay? I think, or this is what I've seen, and this is what I'm basing my conclusion off of, okay? I think young marriage is stupid. If you're 18 and older, or uh, 18 and younger, like 17, which is still kind of common, um, don't do it. Um, and the reason why I say it is... Sadly enough, uh, my generation and the up-and-coming are raised in a time and day, actually, even the time after me. Uh, I would probably date it back to way, way later than I was even born. But, um, we are raised in a day and age that we're not raised with morals enough or patience enough or understanding enough to understand that once you make that lifetime commitment, um, you don't you don't necessarily at that young of an age, you know that you're married, but I think in your mind, hold on, I think in your mind, or it, it, in a young person's mind, it is okay. Finally, I can do whatever I want to and not have to worry about my husband or my wife leaving me for whatever I do. And I've seen this happen to many of my friends getting cheated on, beaten, slapped, or whatever, because, you know, um, one in particular, I have a female friend that's in the Navy. I'm not going to say her name, but um, probably the biggest, most biggest inspiration in my life. One of the coolest chicks ever I have ever known. Um, you know, wasn't, wasn't really treated the best by... A guy that she thought at the time was suitable enough for marriage, for whatever the reason at the time was. Um, during that time, she was cheated on and like that, and then they ended up getting a divorce and like that, which is really sad because she serves in our military. Uh, I, I can't get over that. I don't understand what possesses guys or girls whenever their loved ones, wife, husband, whatever it is, you know, is out serving your country, making you free. I just got a text message from that girl right now, actually. Um, it's making your country free for you to be that incredibly stupid. You would think, you know, they would have the brains enough to stay with them because clearly that person has the stones that, that requires or that is required to make a long-lasting long lasting like relationship. And this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. The people that are in that kind of situation end up cheating on their loved ones because of 
because they're in like the armed forces for whatever reason. That's just pure immaturity, and they don't understand what's happening and what's going on. Point proven, okay. Um, but there are some exceptions, okay. My grandparents are seven years apart. My grandma was married to my grandpa at the age of 17. They've been married for almost 60 years. Now, in that, in that 60 years, yes, they got like a divorce and they got split up and they fought and whatever. But they were raised in a day and age to work through it. They were taught to work through it. They were taught to be a bigger person about it, not always seeing, you know, everything as like an opportune basis. Like, oh, I can have sex and put this chick at this point in time so much harder than my wife. Stop it. Um, you have made a commitment to your wife to not do anything with that complete stranger. Okay, don't be stupid. Or the other way around. Okay. That being done, one second. Okay, I gotta make this next point short. Liars. This kind of falls in the line with the marriage point. Liars. In my, in my, in my generation of kids, okay, not the baby boomers, nothing like that, because I'm, I'm not anywhere close. I'm, I was born in 89, which I don't consider myself an 80s kid, because, you know, I'd get probably bashed and bammered, because I was born in November, so I'm pretty much a 90s kid, okay, but in my day and age, um, we are living in an age where everything is sexually sold. Everything, everything, every ounce of everything is sexually sold. Okay, you look at any model. Why? Just just look at any advertisement now. Okay, look at any beer, any beer commercials, Hooters, any other type of like press on press like that. Everything is sold and gets more tips and more publicity and more everything due to sex. Sex sells, which puts in the minds of younger kids and boys and like that, that this is what every single girl looks like, okay, which is completely wrong, wrong, so wrong, dumb, 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 um, it's probably the biggest lie that's made by the entire world, this is the stupidest lie ever, what possesses anybody to make a lie about high appearance, okay, and then movies. Every movie has to have on the cover of that movie has to have some half naked chick. I'm not gonna say I don't like it because I'm not gay. Nothing against gays or lesbians or anything like that. But you know that doesn't really sell the movie to me. It's just a half naked chick. If anything, in my mind, you would want to see that girl naked in the movie sometime because if you don't, it's you know, it causes some bad stuff that happens to males and they can't sit right. So, it just it just doesn't work out. Alright, I have I have two minutes left. Anyways, long story short, if you're a female and you've heard any guy say that, like, you're too fat or too skinny or you're too ugly or you're too... Like, you're... So sometimes there's been, you're too pretty. Okay? Every single girl out there, you are not two of anything. You're perfect in your own way. Any guy that doesn't see that is completely effing retarded. Okay? You are who you are for a reason. If you are a Christian, I'm not trying to start a big debate about Christians, but if you are a Christian, God made you for a specific person for a specific way. If you're not, if you're not a Christian, genetics bred you specifically to be how you are, okay? There's a, sp there's a specific reason why you are how you are, who you are, and, and how you do all of it, okay? Your personality should not be molded by others. It should be molded by you. If that specific <laughs> somebody doesn't like who you are, garbage. If that specific somebody tells you to lose weight, garbage. If that person tells you that like you are not wearing the right kind of clothes, garbage. Find somebody in life that loves you for you. If you don't, you will be unhappy. I hope you guys have an outstanding rest of the day. 
night, morning, time, whatever. The wise words of Tobuscus. If you sneeze during this video, bless you. I hope you guys take what I said with a grain of salt or take it to heart. I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all later.